In this video, we're going to talk about overcurrent application within the package of programs TDMS, which is ESA package of programs which are used to control test sets. Overcurrent application has three aspects. This is these first two are the new application, and this is the backward compatibility, which is the old application. We're going to talk about the new application, and we're going to take an example of testing a face-to-face -face fault and so we're going to open this aspect here. When the application opens you can see that normally we have a toolbar here, a few tabs here, but in order to make it more simple and easier to understand I'm going to make an example. We're going to make a characteristic so, to be sure, first first thing we need to do is to set up testing. So, for that reason, we need to say what will be our some of the most important information about our relay. In case we need to supply it, this is where we will put the DC supply. Frequency will be here. Voltage ratio of voltage transformer is set here. And phase current meaning CT ratio is set here. So let's say we have an 800 to 5 CT with the start point side on the line side which is not important right now since we are not testing a directional protection. Next step will show us the tolerances which will then allow us to have a pass or fail as an automatic result. So my next step here is to create a characteristic of the protective relay which we're going to test. And my characteristic will have three parts. The first part will be starting from 5 amps, which is one time I nominal. And it will not be a definite time, it will be ISC class B, which is a very inverse curve. And we can see right away that the curve we got is here. The second one will be added by pressing this button here, add characteristic curve. And having done that, we need to say what is our threshold for this definite time characteristic. And let's say that this will be 10 amps. And the definite time characteristic will be tripping in 200 milliseconds. And then the third one will also be a definite time characteristic, but it will be starting from 15 amps. And the tripping time will be 20 milliseconds. All these protections are non-directional because we are talking about simple overcurrent protection. We can see here now what we did with the characteristic. The first one starts from 5 amp and we can see that we, it's 5 amp right here. The second one, which is a definite time one, starts from 10 amps, which is this one here, and then the third one, the instantaneous one, starts from 15 amps on. Now in order to test this, we will press the tab Test Settings, and we're going to choose <coughs> excuse me, we're going to choose type of test. We can do click and test, sequence, automatic test, and let's start with click and test. So with click and test, first of all, you can see as I move my cursor on the top of the screen, which is here, you can see the current changing, increasing if I go to the right, decreasing if I go to the left, and also maximum tripping time, decreasing if I go down, and increasing if I go up. And here, now if I want to test, I can just click here, and there will be a point ready for testing. And then I can click here, and then for example I can click here, and this will give me a result on these three points, on my protection relay. Sequence is very similar to click and test. The difference is that for sequence 
I need to press, I need to actually define what will be the tripping points. And once I've done that, I can just press start button, which I cannot press now since I'm not connected to the DRTS. And when I would press this button, the start button, all these points which I have added would be executed. The third option is an automatic test, which allows me to decide what is my starting current. So let's say I want to start from 5 amps. I want to finish at 20 amps with a step of, let's say, 0 0.05. If I want to add this test, I'm going to press this button here, add test to test list. And having done that, I can go to this next tab, test, and I can see all this which I have, have added right here. Now, as I'm clicking certain tests on my right side, you can see here that these are the points which we are going to do. Once this is all done, I can print my results or I can save this test file in order to repeat it again. The results would appear here and I would be printing them just by pressing file and then print. Let me tell you about a few other things you can do here. In the nominal characteristic, you can first of all see these currents as if they were secondary value or primary value. So if I say primary values, since my CT is 800 to 5, since this was 5, now it, this is 800, this was 10, so it's 1600, and this was 15, so it's 2400. Also, instead of observing these values in primary or secondary values, which would be absolute values, I can observe them in relative values. And that means since my nominal current is 5 amps, this is 1 time nominal current, 2 times nominal current, and 3 times nominal current. Also, the time can be seen uh, in seconds or in cycles. And these are, let's say, the basic features of this program.